Hey there, in this video we're going to continue working with some raster data in QGIS. In this case we're going to uh, clip this data down to the Atlanta metro area. So in the previous video you created this reclassified image where it shows only those counties classified as agricultural. In this case in your lab you'll be looking at counties or areas classified excuse me, as developed. Um, so it's going to look different than this map. This is just an example for you to look through. Um, so um, we don't need this NLCD data anymore. We've got these data, and then we've got the counties, uh, county boundaries, right, that look something like this. We want to use this as what's called a mask to clip these areas down, or clip this whole raster down to just this area that's in the Atlanta Metro Statistical Area, which is, this is an area defined by the census as defining kind of the, the whole city metro area of Atlanta. Um, the way that we're going to do this is to use something called the Clip Raster by Mask tool. You can get to it under the, the top toolbar if you click on Raster, Extraction, Clip Raster by Mask Layer. Or you can go over to the Processing Toolbox and just type in Mask, and you'll see it pop up. Um, so we're going to clip the raster using a mask. And that mask can be vector or potentially also another raster image. In this case, it's a vector shapefile um, image. So we're going to take our um, Ag Georgia, they've got several on here. We want the Ag Georgia one, that's the one that's actually going to work, our reclassified data set that we've saved to our working folder. Our mask layer is the county boundaries, and all the other defaults we can just keep for right now. And for, the, for, for right now, let's just save it to a temporary file. If it looks good, we'll save it to our computer. So I'm going to run it in background, and this will take, again, about 10 seconds or so, um, 10 or 15 seconds to... Um, clip down to just that area. So give it just a second to run. Um, not too much work. And should be right about now. There it is. OK. So you might not be able to see it yet, but let's turn off our old Ag Georgia layer. And there it is. So now we've clipped it down to just the county boundaries. In fact, we can put it below the county boundaries and begin to style it um, at this point. Um, one note is that you might want to go through and think about how to um, redo the styling here. Um, so you can use um, multiband color, or sorry, you can use palleted unique values, right, to do this. So there is two values, um, and you can pick which color you want each one to be. Um, spoiler alert, these are not the colors you want to use. But pick ones that you think look good that highlight where the um, developed land is in your case. 